up everyone it's mr. still your girl with another supreme commander 2 replay I know lots of you people have been sending me in these replays like there's no tomorrow and I thank you so much for that and thank you for signing up for the tournament if you have so and if you haven't already um, I'm gonna pause it real quick if you haven't already please do so it'd be a really good time it's August it's begins sometime in August I'll uh, be sure to link the I will be sure to put the link in the description below. But anyhow, this was sent by a friend of mine. I'm not going to say who it is right, uh, just yet, just in case uh, that team may win. But anyhow, it's a 2v2 on the Mesa. I totally forget how to say the full name of the map, but right now it is the Desert Mesa. That's what I'm going to call it so far. And uh, anyhow, so if you sent me a replay... Please hold tight. It, I will look at it because I'm getting a lot of messages pretty much in every day. Anyhow, I am going to now introduce the players. I'm going to start to the south. This is Mr. Gan. I do believe that is Altus. And he is spawning in as the purple Aeon. Very, very sweet there. And his teammate spawning in as the white Cybrim. Krito Kuhn. Very sweet there. Kitty Litter is researching all day long. And what is going on here? Ravon. My goodness. Uh, he already has three factories almost completed. That is going to be rain hell on his economy. But it is going to be a really nasty surprise. Probably for that Cyber player. And he, um, auto he went right for Shotches. And... The final player to be introduced. It's the one, the only, Kitty Litter spawning in as the Green Aeon. He's got two factories right there. He's got that radar down. It's in a nice protected spot. That is the right way to do it. I think he's the only player with radar at this point. Ah, but Althus is putting down a radar where you could totally see all day long. Aeon radar is pretty woeful. Uh, in this game. Anyhow, I like how Kritukun is expanding. That is an awesome thing. I don't like how the... I don't think that is the right place for your energy generators. It should be by your factories just in case you could structure... need to structure detonate. Detonate. That was a silly way of saying that. And I like the... Fish deuce, but it's a little early for fish deuce, and I do like how Altus is alternating. But there is a battle going on. Kitty Litter is supporting. Everyone's going for right here. A volley went off from those shot just right on Crypto Kun's ACU, and Ravon needs to come on in there. I think that is the right thing to do for Ravon. Crypto Kun. Has a fire rate for all units, and I do believe structure detonate, maybe? I didn't see that. It, it went by pretty fast. And it appears Altus is pushing units up to help defend. And that is nasty. That's not going to really work out. That uh, long-range point defense goes down very fast. Shacha, a pure Shacha push rarely works because they have such a horrible turn weight rate. Uh... And weapon range goes down for all this. Ravon needs to be really, really careful. And Kitty being a butthead and pushing in there, destroying uh, Engineer and taking out a, a radar. I'm going to slow it down because lots is happening here. And I like how all players are totally expanding pretty much everywhere. Kitty's expanding behind his opponent. That could be real. Um, his teammate. That could be uh really helpful. And Althus doesn't have anything really to protect him. And I like how that shield goes up. Kitty really needs to be careful with those units. Let's speed it up just a tad bit. Um. Up to the north, not a lot going on. Ravon is backing off. Kitty Leader has training one, so his units are a little bit more tough. 
than Altus is. And Altus, what are you doing, man? That uh, energy generator needs to get completed. You spent the money on it, and it's not doing anything for you. And Ravon has weapon range, and Ravon is pushing in there with his commander and sucking up some free mass. I like to see that. That's a wise thing, considering in the beginning there was a lot of mass wasted on throwing down those factories early on. And there's a little battle going on. Ravon is having a very bad time with those Brackmen. And Kritukun is doing an awesome job at pushing back all those units. And Ravon is taking some of those to the face. I, I really like the use of adapters here. Kritukun is really showing off his stuff right here. I really like this. I do, I would like to see some loyalists in the mix, and that factory, ah, uh, it, it, it is actually working. Maybe he mass stalled there for a second. A little land engagement right here. Altus not completing that inner generator. Does he have an engineer? Ah, uh, there's the engineer. It is building up that mass, which is a very good thing. Kitty Litter is doing the same thing, but he's got one engineer Helping out that land factory. And what's this? A Ravon is throwing down a long-range point defense. I'd really like to see a factory there with a factory shield guarding it. That's really the way you want to do that. And what is Kitty Litter doing? He's pushing up his commander, and he might build a factory right there. That's kind of dangerous with those with those Fishtus there. And Chrome Shield on those tanks. That is a dangerous army there for Kitty Litter. Um, I think that's my very dangerous because if that factory starts being built and the a volley goes off like right now, that would be dead. It'd be gone. There's not enough health for that. But right now, it, it's pretty safe. So there's a battle going on up up top, and Ravon is trying to micro his units while leaving his commander in front of that point defense, giving it. More, it's a sh little point defense shield there by the commander. That commander is in a lot of trouble. He might be wise to back the heck out of there. Um, but very nice there, healing that point defense, keeping it alive, allowing it to do damage as the adapter shields go down. Look at all that terrible damage going to that army. And Kitty already has a factory shield, and it looks like a factory TML. That is going to be a nasty thing going on and that's forcing kitty litter has the shotcha now and that's forcing all this to get shields and tml on her on his factory excuse me you are a he there all this and ravon getting rebuilding a radar would have been smart to put it on the wreck but hey you know maybe it's better right there you can see more and Crypto Kun has now five land factories to Ravon's three, but Ravon is doing an aggressive PD push. Chrome Shield, more Chrome Shield for all this. This could be extremely dangerous for Kitty Litter. Kitty Litter, it, it, there's three land factories right here, and if they all have the tactical missile launcher, that could destroy that factory and just be of utter pain to those units. And Ravon just doesn't even care. He's just sitting there collecting all that mass. That commander doesn't even give a crap. Very wisely moving his units out of the way. And another factory kitty? That is so dangerous. I don't see how this isn't being focused down by those factory team. Well, maybe it's out of range. Maybe it's just out of range. And kitty just wants to get shotches out fast. And a research station going there by Altus. I kind of disagree with that because he really might benefit more from uh, point defense at this point, actually. Um, I, I don't know what to do there for Altus. And another point defense by Ravon. I don't know if that is the right decision there. Ravon should just build right over that wreck. And get that down, but he's taking some point defense, I mean, artillery fire to the face. And those units are blasting each other. The 
Adaptive Shield doing a really good job at protecting the unit. And I j missed a factory going down. This factory is getting focused down by those land that factory TML. Like I, that is a really nice move there from Kitty Litter. And is it going down yet? Boom! Down goes that factory. It's just a matter of moments till Ulthus is going to get overrun. And Kitty Litter now has training two on his units. If I was Kitty, I would stand back with those mobile missile launchers and take out those factories. All this should have been putting down some point defense. And what is going on up here? Ravon is out in the open. Well, not too out in the open, but he's got his point defense in his units fighting there. Um, Kitty Litter has effectively pushed all this out of the area. I'm going to have to keep it zoomed out a little bit because this is an interesting battle. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think Crypto Coup is making a fatal mistake by fighting within range of those point defense. And Kitty Litter is just annihilating all this is base. That is unfortunate. And Kritakun is going for a commander kill. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's got training one on his units. He's going for the commander kill. He has the units to do it, but in this position, not at all. Unfortunately, Kritakun's army has been completely wiped out. That is an awesome move there by Ravon. If Kritakun just used his research points on the Cobra, he would still have a base right now. He would have been able to mobile missile launcher these units here and take them out. Kitty Litter is coming in to mop up that those factories and Structure Detto really has no effect. I I could tell he doesn't have it really, but it would have well, it wouldn't have much effect anyway, considering the both the players are keeping away a very good distance from these structures. And it appears Altus has an ace in the hole, or so he thinks so. A air factory is being put down. That could be an awesome thing. Let's speed this up a bit as neither of the enemy player um not enemy players, excuse me, that is a silly thing to say. Neither of uh Altus's team has a base really. Uh Wow, the Vulatooth, that is going to be quite a Hail Mary play. Altus is going for the gunship. And Kritukun is trying to run away from Ravon's army. And I like this play, that and good anticipation here by Ravon putting down an air factory. He should uh, put down more, and he is. And I like how all this is pushing some units in back of Kitty Litter's base. Not much going on there for Kitty Litter in the back of his base, but he definitely has the unit, the unit count. And Crypto Kun is all by himself taking, taking those, <laughs> taking that tank fire to the face. And I think he control K there. Uh, and boom, down he goes, everyone. And Kutukun did a really awesome job, but unfortunately, he just he didn't get those. He didn't get those cobras out like he should have. A cobra would have definitely changed that matchup. And Ravon has training two on his units, and those Vulatuts could do a major amount of damage if left unchecked and Kinney's units are getting really close to Altus's commander, commander and Altus just control K's and none of Kitty's units even taste that blast that is really nice how nice micro there he pulls away and none of those units die at all there is Kitty Litter right there let's take a look at him he is just chilling in his base Awesome job there. That was a really nasty thing to do with building those factories really close to your opponent's base. I really like that. And here is Ravon. Very, very good play there with that PD push. That worked out wonderfully for you. I don't know how it happened, but it did. And that early 
land factory push. That was absolutely insane. Anyhow, Kitty Litter, thank you so much for sending in this replay. I sure hope the viewers enjoy it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and definitely sign up for the tournament happening in August. There are only a few spots left, so be sure to get yours today. And as always, send your replays to steelspeaks at gmail.com. And all players did an awesome job. I enjoyed casting this one. It was quite amazing. And GG!